Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be finally doing the Miami Marlins rebuild because so many of you guys have been asking for it. And I've been thinking about a couple ways to do this rebuild because like in real life they're taking the slow route where they're kind of just like methodically rebuilding their team. They'll probably be good in like five years. I don't even know at this point. Like it's taken forever. What I do know is that when Derek Jeter took over they did have like quite a bit of debt so I think they're trying to pay that down and actually like get that out of the way. But in real life the rebuild's going to take a little bit of time if I had to be honest and if I had to like guess. The rebuild's going to take a little bit more time than I think a lot of other people are expecting. So, so do we want to do a slow, methodical, like realistic type rebuild for the Marlins or just go balls against the wall and just go for it? I'm thinking that we do a mix between the two. There is a happy medium that I've found and that's going to be where we actually go out and sign some free agents, but we don't go out in like the first couple years and sign $30 million free agents. So we're going to try to make it somewhat realistic as much as I can with this game, but just know we are going to be putting the Marlins on the fast track to the playoffs. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, then be sure to check out the rest of my stuff. I'd appreciate it. We do pretty much everything on the show franchise. So if you guys want to see that, kind of stuff then be sure to check out the other videos if you guys haven't already leave a like on the video if you guys are excited for this rebuild and let's go ahead and get this thing started so here we go this team is definitely going to need a lot of work we are 26th overall in the entire mlb if we go ahead and look at the lineup we got a couple glitchy guys i'm not gonna lie we got jonathan vr who's very good we got Corey dickerson who's one of the biggest glitches in this game we got jesus aguilar who again could be a gigantic glitch in this game we got brian anderson and also matt joyce not to mention one of my favorite catches to get in rebuilds Jorge alfaro so this is going to be very good from the offensive side now the pitching staff is something that I'm definitely not excited about. Now, trust me, there are a couple guys that are very glitchy on this team, but it's just a majority of them aren't that great, if I had to be honest, so... Let's just go ahead and get into it. Right now, the ace of their team, Jordan, he's 23 years old, a 75 overall, but he only has 42 walks per nine, so I really don't think he's going to be all that great. I mean, to be honest, he could go crazy, but I just don't think he is. And then we actually have the rest of their pitching staff who could be complete glitches in this game. You got Pablo Lopez, Caleb Smith, Sandy, and of course, Jose Urena. All of these guys could be goaded. Now, if I had to guess, it's either going to be Pablo or Sandy for the best pitcher on this team, but but I mean, their pitching staff, I got to give it to them, is kind of glitchy in this game. Now, in real life, they probably need a little bit of help, but in this game, they're just fine. And then the bullpen dude oh god we got Josh, who I really don't have much faith. And we got Garcia, who actually didn't do horrible last year. I got to give it to him. In 2019, he definitely didn't do bad for the Dodgers. So I'm hoping that he can do good for us. We got Sterling Sharp, who's actually a pretty fun follow on Twitter. I like this dude. Adam Conley, who's just disappeared off the face of the earth ever since 2016. So I don't know what happened to him. Got Ryan Stanek, one of the Rays dudes who actually got traded. I mean, the guy's pretty decent. So I'm hoping that he can do good for us. We got Brandon over here, who actually did very good for the Cubs last year. And then we also got Drew, who I think is pretty solid. Psych. Okay. Actually, never mind. He only Pitched 14 innings, which really isn't that much if you think about it, but he did have a 6.28, so yikes. This is going to be a toss-up. I don't know if he's going to be good or not. The rest of the team, though, we got some pretty decent prospects like Sixto Sanchez. I like this dude. We also got another dude, JJ Bladé. This guy's so good. I'm actually super excited for this guy to actually get up into the MLB because I've seen some great things from this dude. We got Connor Scott, who I think is probably not going to make it on this team, but he could be a very good trade piece. We got Encarnacion, who's going to be pretty good. We got Victor Victor Mesa as well. This dude's got two first names. You got to love it. And then, of course, we cannot forget about the beast of a shortstop, Jazz Chisholm. So I think this team's actually gonna do a lot better than a lot of people think, so I'm pretty excited. But again, a lot of their guys that have a lot of potential are very, very young. So I'm thinking like four years, they might be pretty solid. But either way, let's go ahead and get this thing started. We still got some money right now. We got almost $40 million. What the heck? I mean, hey, I don't mind it. We got 40 million just chilling pretty much. And also we got Sean Rodriguez making 5.7 million. He's in triple light. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, we might actually just go ahead and try to get rid of him now, if I'm being honest. Will anybody take him? I swear to God. Okay, no one's taking him. We might have to wait just a little bit, but I really don't think anybody else is going to take him. I think we might actually have to take that $5.7 million hit to the nuts, which to be honest, nobody wants. So why the heck did we do this? I don't understand. Either way, we're going to go ahead and sim to the draft. Day. I'm hoping that we're around 500, but with this team, you really got no clue. We could be like 20 games below 500 or somehow 20 games above. We'll see what happens. I mean, hey, or we could just go ahead and meet in the middle, 31 and 30. That's not bad considering everything. So I will definitely take it, especially for the Marlins. But here we go. We got all the scouts already. And oh my God. Do you see that right? there at third base you guys might not know this but last year we drafted a guy named choo choo okay and it was actually in the marlins rebuild and choo choo did so good for us if i can get choo choo again it's destiny okay if i can actually get him again it's destiny let's see go to draft come on please tell me that choo choo is gonna be a blue chip come on please he's not oh my god he's actually not but my goodness it's him he's back but real quick though before i do anything i'm gonna go ahead and get a blue chip because richard chadwick looks fantastic so i'm gonna go ahead and get him but i'm hoping that we can get choo choo in the second round we should be able to so come on richard 
Get him, but Choo Choo, please don't go off the board. Please, please. No! He went 23rd to the Nationals. Oh, come on. I legitimately have to get him. So after this season, I'm going to be calling up the Nats. And I got to get Choo Choo, okay? All he had to do was slide down eight more picks and we would have had him too. That is so unfortunate. God dang it, bro. Oh my God. Like we're 100% going to get him, but that's still annoying. Either way, who are some guys we could go ahead and get real quick? I think we actually might go with Bradley right here. He's got pretty decent contact. He's got decent power. He's got very, very good play discipline and play vision. Now, I definitely don't think he's going to make it to the MLB team, but hey, I mean, I'm kind of down to use this guy as a trade piece. I think we got to go for one more guy, and I think that dude is actually going to be Bob. I mean, he's got five pitches. He throws decently hard. I'm kind of down for this. Let's see what happens. And with that, that's all she wrote. Let's go ahead and check and see how these guys are. So first off, we already know that Chadwick is going to be an A potential since he was a blue chip. But what about everybody else, and how good is Chad actually going to be? Let's see. If I could actually get my first 99, I'm so down for this. So let's see real quick. Come on. Did we get it? We definitely didn't get it, but we had a fantastic draft. Besides the last two rounds, we actually had a fantastic draft. We got two A potentials, not to mention two very high Bs. That's fantastic, actually. Let's go, boys. Big ups to the scouting department. Let's go, dude. So after a very good draft, we're going to go ahead and send to the trade deadline because I got a couple dudes that I think could definitely help out this team. And actually, for the first time in a long time, we come to the trade deadline above 500. We're actually in there at second place in the NL East. That's kind of disgusting. For the 2020 Marlins, that's kind of gross. Let's be honest. But either way, since it is the trade deadline, I think we go ahead and get a very, very good reliever out of the pen because a lot of these guys just aren't cutting it if i'm being honest josh is doing bad sterling's doing bad adam's doing bad just no consistency out of the pen so that's a big problem and since i feel like the rebuilds have been getting a little bit stale with like the type of guys that i always get because i get the same group of people every single time i try to change it from like rebuild to rebuild but it just seems to work out that way like there's really only a select group of people in this game that could really help out a team so it kind of sucks whenever you're doing like 30 of these things and you have to keep getting the same people so i'm trying to find some new guys to get one of the guys that i found was actually giovanni this dude looks fantastic so, I mean, why not? Let's try to get him for the pen. Let's see what happens. He's an A potential, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but let's see what I can do. 569 seconds later. And I think we're actually going to go ahead and do this trade. So we got Daniel going over. We got Lewis Brinson going over. For some reason, Lewis Brinson just never found his footing. And then we also got Hernandez going over the Cardinals for Giovanni and Ricardo. I think that's a pretty solid trade, if I had to be honest. I think we're actually going to be getting a lot of help out of the bullpen with Giovanni. I think it's going to be pretty solid for us, so I'm down for that. And now we got one more trade I feel like we got to do, and that's going to be getting Aaron Bummer from the White Sox. I feel like he's going to be fantastic, especially since he's a lefty out of the pen. And we really don't have a solid lefty out of the bullpen, which is a gigantic thing. So I think he's going to be perfect for us. And I think this is a deal that's going to go ahead and send Aaron over to the Marlins. And he's only going to be making a high of $4 million a year. That's kind of disgusting. So for Aaron, I am down for that. And I think with that, we are finally going to be all good out of the bullpen. And I think after all those trades, we're going to go ahead and do one more thing. And that's going to be signing Jonathan VR to a massive extension, actually. A four-year deal worth $58 million. Now for us, that's quite a bit of money. So I'm hoping that this you could work out pretty good. And to be honest, that's really about it. I'll see you guys in the second half. Let's hope that we can do good. I think we will, to be honest with the new additions. And let's try to finish with like 80 something wins. I feel like we could do that easily. And there we go. We actually finished off 2020 in a fantastic fashion for us. 86 and 77. That is insane. You know what's even more disgusting about that? We played game 163. I had no clue. Real quick, just first off, I had no clue. Now they ended up beating us, but we're one game out from the divisional title in 2020. We're the Marlins. What happened to the Braves? What happened to the Nationals? What even happened to the Phillies? at this point. Like, how the heck did the Nationals finish below us? Like, what? I mean, I get they lost for Dome, but they didn't die. Like, what the heck happened there? Either way, let's go ahead and check and see how everybody did. Jonathan VR had 33 home runs and a 275. That's pretty solid for him. I like that. Miguel Rojas had four home runs and a 251. I mean, not horrible. I mean, that's kind of like Miguel Rojas. Like, that's pretty much what he does. I wouldn't mind getting a better shortstop, and I think Jazz is actually going to be coming up pretty soon, so I'm not really worried about it. Now, Corey Dickerson, I feel like this dude, I'm going to try to guess it because I've gotten Corey Dickerson so many times. I think he got 22 home runs and hit about 280. Let's see. Come on. What'd he do? 294. Okay. And 20 home runs. Like that just makes sense. That's literally Corey Dickerson. Like to a T. Next up, Jesus Aguilar. I mean, the home runs are a little bit down. I wish that this dude would go back to like, you know, 2018 fashion, but it's honestly whatever. 13 ain't bad. Garrett Cooper actually hitting 14. That's kind of nuts. I really didn't think that he would do that great. Then we got Harold Ramirez, who actually did fantastic. What? Where did this guy come from? How come I've never heard of Harold? It must be because he plays in the Marlins, but like, what the heck? in home runs and almost a 290. That's kind of disgusting for a guy that I had no clue existed. Then we got big boy Brian Anderson not really pulling off the greatest stats right here. 18 home runs with 
a 227. Just, you know, not great. Hopefully he could have a bounce back. I'm not going to lie. I do like the 18 home runs. Don't get me wrong. But like everything else just kind of fell off a little bit. His slugging average OBP, like all that kind of fell off. So he's got to find that again. Next up, Jorge Alfaro did very good. 25 doubles this year. I like to see that. And three triples from a catcher. That's kind of disgusting. Let's be honest. So me, hey, not bad from him either. And then Matt Kemp actually played a game. What happened? 132 he played and he did fantastic. Wait a minute. Is Matt Kemp back, baby? Like what's going on? Is my dude Matt Kemp back? Like legit, what's going on here? I mean, the guy's attributes are falling harder than my GPA, but like, bro, that's kind of nuts. Then we got Matt Joyce who apparently fell off. I really don't think so. I love Matt Joyce, but what the heck happened there? The guy hit 18 home runs, yet he got minus 10 to his power. Again, this game's attributes really don't make that much sense, but whatever. Asan Diaz, a 23 year old prospect look in, pretty decent. Okay, out of 25 games, not bad. And then Monte Harrison, I mean, definitely could be better. We'll see what happens in the next couple years. Next up, Pablo Lopez, fantastic this year. I gotta be honest, fan freaking fantastic. Sandy, how the heck did you do? Even better, oh my God. Okay, Caleb, how did you do the lefty? Pretty solid. Okay, I like that, Jordan. He finished off with a 4.8. Yikes. Okay, definitely not great. And then Jose, a 3.29. Like I'm telling you, there's a bunch of glitches on this team. It makes no sense. And then how the new guys do? Giovanni, fantastic. And then Aaron, how did he finish off? Fantastic. Oh my God, 54 saves for the guy. Yeah, this team slaps. Okay, I gotta be honest. This team slaps. Now, who the heck is gonna win the World Series and the Mets actually take it? Oh my goodness. Five years later from getting beat out by the Royals, which just is tough. Like that's hard to live down. They beat the Astros. That is definitely not bad. But yeah, either way, we got a couple guys here that we got to sign back. I'm actually probably going to sign everybody back here, even though it's probably a horrible idea. I think since he's only 510k, we're going to sign back Matt Kemp. I think for a backup, Cervelli actually did pretty good. And then Matt Joyce, who actually finished out pretty good, only wants 550. I mean, what the heck? That's not bad. So the exclusive free agents are now over. Very nice. And now it's free agent time, and I think I got one guy in mind. And actually, you know what? I'm going to let you guys guess it. He's on this screen right now. He's one of these six guys. So go ahead down in the comments and try to pick who the heck I'm going to be get it. And no cheating, by the way. Okay. No cheating. I'll go ahead and give you guys five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. We're going to be going with Carlos Santana because this dude is such a beast. We're going to try to get him down to Miami two years, $24 million. I think that's pretty solid. And I'm hoping that we can actually get him because right now the Indians are offering him a contract. And my dude loves Cleveland. Okay. So I'm hoping that we can get him and he goes to the Indians. Yeah. What do you know? The dude loves Cleveland. What can I say? He just absolutely loves it. All right. So the second choice was actually going to be Marcus Simeon. So we might as well go for him now. Might as well him for four years, $52 million, which is actually quite a bit, but I think it's going to be pretty solid for us. So yeah, that's all of free agency. That's like legit the only thing I wanted to do. So there we go. I'll see you guys in 2021. All right, so here we go. 2021, the team that we got going up for us is looking pretty solid, if I had to be honest. We got Jonathan VR, we got Ramirez, we got Diggerson, we got Marcus Simeon, we got Brian Anderson, Jorge Alfaro. We got a new first baseman, Luis Diaz up here, and then Monty Harrison up in center field. That's not looking too bad. I like it. And then off the bench, we got Asan Diaz, we got Miguel Rojas, Francisco Cervelli, and then of course, Jazz Chisholm. That is not horrible. I mean, don't get me wrong, we are a super young team, but we're still looking very good. And I'm wondering if this is finally the year that JJ Blade makes it to the MLB. I think it might be. I think 2021 is going to be the year. So let's see what happens. Either way, go ahead and send a draft. I'll see you guys there. And let's see what type of record we got around there. All right. So right now, June 2nd, we're 27 to 33. Definitely not exactly where I want to be. And we went ahead and did two things. So first up, we got JJ Blade up in the MLB. He's doing fantastic so far. So I'm hoping that he can continue to do more of the same. And we also went ahead and promoted Connor Scott up to the MLB. Now, earlier in the video, I did say I don't think he's going to make it to the team. And I really don't know how good he's going to do, but we'll see what happens. Again, out of 51 at-bats, he's got three RBIs and a 255, so it's not completely horrible just yet, but... I mean, we got to give him a little bit more time. And since the offense is doing good and we're 27 and 33, I'm guessing that the pitching staff took a gigantic hit. And let's go ahead and see. Sandy doing decent, I guess. And then, yeah, there we go. I'm guessing every... Oh my God. Yeah, it's a genocide. It's so bad. Just Caleb not doing good. Jose, horrible. I don't know what happened to him. Jordan, just horrible. And then Sixto, God awful. What the heck? Like, what happened? They just completely lost their footing. They were doing so good last year and then just completely tripped. Like, what is that? Like, what's going on? I mean, what? Whatever, there's really nothing I can do there, sadly. That is just RNG at its finest. But I do think we are going to be trading for one pretty decent guy in the pitching staff, so be ready for that. But but I got to see if I can even get the guy that I think that I want to get. And oh my God, what happened here? Just real quick before anything happens, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of that because that is a screenshot for Twitter, a thousand percent. What is going on here? And I get that the guy's in his final year, but what? You get a 25-year-old relief pitching prospect 
and a 24 year old right fielder who's a 47 overall. I get that Christian Yelich is in his final year of his contract. I understand, okay? That does not warrant though, that garbage of a return. But let's just go ahead and move past this. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline, which is coming up in legit like two seconds. So I'll see you guys then, my goodness. And then this happens. The race gets Shohei Otani for Austin Meadows and Mike Zanino. Oh my goodness. Now I love myself some Austin Meadows. I think he's fantastic, but Shohei Otani who can pitch and hit? I mean, you know, not horrible. Nice job, Rays. But I'm still on that Christian Yelich thing. Like, what is going on there? Like, what happened? Like, I legit got an L. How does one even go about that? Like, why can't that happen to me? Like, can I get that real quick? Like, Vladdy Jr. or something? Come on. Let's see. Let me just go ahead and get Vladdy Jr. real quick. Brian Anderson, goodbye. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, don't actually tell me here. I was doing this as a meme. Hold on. Literally one minute later. Yo, what the heck is going on here? I can get a 22 year old Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Who's actually killing it this year for Brian Anderson. And I get it. Brian Anderson's like very, very good on the Marlins. But so far, he has not showed it like at all. I'm gonna try one more thing. And if I can get Yon Makata, it's a done deal. But I gotta try it. Let's see. Yon Makata. Oh my God, we're so freaking close. Okay, take off Miguel real quick and add a B potential. Let's go with Jesus. Yep, there we go. Oh my God. Yon Makata coming over real quick for Brian Anderson, Sierra, and Jesus Sanchez. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm down, okay? But now since we got Yon freaking Makata, I'm gonna go for one guy out of the rotation because God only knows our pitching staff needs a lot of help this year for no reason, but yeah, they need a lot of help. So I'm gonna help them the best I can. And I think the way I'm gonna be doing that is using a couple of these insanely good prospects for a fantastic, and I mean a fantastic pitcher. And actually the first guy I'm gonna go ahead and get, and I really don't know if this is gonna work out very good because we just went and got Yon Makata from the White Sox. So this really isn't that realistic, but whatever. I'm gonna try to get my dude Lucas Giolito because he's so good, especially in this game and the playoffs. He's done extremely well. So there we go. Jose Urena, Encarnacion, and Aguilar for Lucas Giolito. That's fantastic for us. Let's go. So now we got that freaking ace who's doing fantastic this year. Let's go. I'll go ahead and see you guys at the end of the year and then we'll see how all these guys did this season. 569 seconds later. And this year we actually ended up finishing off where 79 and 83, but don't worry. Again, I feel like that's just like some random kind of garbage stat. I think this entire petting staff honestly just had a complete L of an entire season. So I'm not worried about it. The offense did very good like usual, but I think next year is going to be the time where we can like accurately go and see how good this team's going to be but real quick we're like definitely not done building there's still a lot of stuff we got to do but hey real quick while we're here let's go ahead and check and see how everybody did connor scott not the greatest again i'd really kind of expected this but not the greatest out of 250 at bats pretty much he's got a 229 with one home run the guy's 100 way better in the field so i'm hoping that his hitting can come up a little bit but we'll see what happens next up Corey dickerson again pretty solid i mean that's like average for him so i'm down for it yon makata fantastic baby i'm so glad we were able to get him down below him we got marcus simeon again just a complete cheat code in this game i love marcus simeon then we got Jorge alfaro doing fantastic beyond the dish then we got jj bladey doing fantastic let's go Luen Diaz, fantastic for his rookie season. Let's get it. And then Asan Diaz, not really doing the greatest. What the heck happened to my dude, Jonathan VR? My dude's out with a torn groin. Okay, a lot of you guys have been telling me to turn off injuries and like, I mean, that kind of breaks the realism, realism part of this whole thing, but I might have to do it because the injuries are just too insane. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave this for you guys to decide. So go in the comments right now and tell me if I should turn off injuries or if I should keep them on. And whichever comment gets the most upvotes, I'll go ahead and do that. But going back real quick to see how the pitches did, Lucas Giolito, pretty solid. Pablo Lopez finished off a lot better than earlier in the year. Got Sandy down here, actually did the exact same, a lot better than earlier this season. Caleb Smith, he brought it back a little bit, but still wasn't the greatest. And then Jordan, I feel like this guy's probably gonna get off the team pretty soon, if I had to be honest. I think we might end up trading Jordan and bring up Richard because Richard Chadwick is ready to go. So either way, let's go ahead and get some pieces in free agency and let's see what happens. 569 seconds later. And after looking at everybody in free agency, there's really nobody that I need or I can even get at this point. So I don't think we're gonna do anything free agency wise, but there is a couple things I do wanna do. One of the things is actually gonna be trading Jordan because I do want Richard to have a spot by opening day. And that's pretty much about it for this entire off season. So, so I'll see you guys in 2022 and we'll go ahead and get that stuff done. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and trade Jordan for a couple prospects. Let's try to get somebody good for him. Try to get something that's gonna have quite a bit of trade value for later if we do need it. So let's try to do that real quick. And I think I might actually have to go out and just do it on my own. Instead of using the trade suggestions because they wanna give me like quite a few guys, I'd rather just go get like one top prospect if I even could. Cause honestly, you never know in this game. So let's see if I could do that real quick. The one dude I'm gonna try to go for is gonna be Bobby Witt. Let's see if I could do it. Just real quick, don't get me wrong. I don't 
don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but I wanna see. Literally one minute later. Look at the Cubs, dude. What the heck? They are so stacked. All right, Bobby Witts. Yeah, definitely not. Alrighty. It makes a bunch of sense. I just wanted to see how much I could push it. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this trade because Seth Lugo is such a beast. Might as well. I mean, look at last year. The guy had a 1.69, so he's going to be on fire. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get 2022 started real quick. We got to get Richard up here. And there we go. We're all ready. Let's get this thing started. 569 seconds later. And we're back here at the trade deadline. 20 games above 500. That is what I love to see, baby. But we're still definitely not in first place. We still got quite a ways to go. The Nationals and the Braves are both killing it right now, which is going to be super tough for us because they're, well, insane. So getting up to their level is definitely going to be insanely hard for such a small team like us, but but I think we got this. There's really nobody else that I really want except for maybe like another bullpen piece. Again, my bullpen luck is just 1-800 garbage. Like if I'm being honest, it's so bad. Also, Sixto Sanchez is not done good like whatsoever. So we might have to do something with that too. I don't know what's happening if I had to be honest. So I'm gonna try my best to get a very good bullpen going and let's see what I could do. So I think the first guy we're gonna be going with is actually gonna be Trevor Hildenberger. I think he's gonna be a fantastic addition for us. The guy really is not done bad like at all in franchise mode right now. So I'm kind of down for this. Let's see what happens. And we can't get him. Perfect. Can we possibly throw in like Josh Taylor or something? Even though he's not really doing the greatest. Hold up. Is there like anybody else I can get? Hold on. I mean, I could get Brian. Yeah, why not? For these guys, might as well go for it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try to go for one more guy. And the last guy we are going to be going for is actually Josh Hader. Now, right now, he's not doing the greatest, but I think if he goes to a different spot, he's going to find his form again because right now he's posting up a 4.14. Not the greatest, but I think he's definitely going to come back if we get him to a new team. So there we go. Josh Hader, welcome. And that, I think, is pretty much it. So there we go. Again, I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and I'm hoping that we can finally get to the postseason because we kind of deserve it at this point. Like, let's be honest. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, come on. We should get this. There we go, baby. 95 and 67. And we make it in as a wild card team. There we are. That's what I needed. And we're one game off from the entire division. Okay. That would have been nice. You know, that would have been nice to have a divisional title, but whatever. That's fine, I guess. What the heck? How'd everybody do? Jonathan VR, fantastic. Harold, very good. Yon Makata, fantastic. Diaz grown into such a beast. Corey Dickerson, fantastic. Marcus Simeon, very good. JJ Blade as well, doing pretty solid. Then Jorge, fantastic beyond the dish. Not bad, boys. Okay, I like this. The bullpen looking decent, like as good as it can be, to be honest. So let's try to do some damage in this postseason for the first time in a long, long time. The Lucas Giolito going up, boys. I believe in you. Let's get this thing going. Come on. Come on. And D Gordon, out of all people, hit a home run. Yeah. All right. If that's how this game's going to go, then I'm not... I'm just not having it. Let's see. There we go. Two runs scored. Perfect. We're coming back a little bit. Let me sit up. Come on, boys. Come on. A. Relax. Relax. Base is juiced. And that hurts quite a bit. God dang it, Lucas. All right. I think Giolito's done. Yeah, he is. Okay. Let's go ahead and get Sixto in there. Again, he didn't really do good, but I want to see how he's going to do in the postseason. And actually got out of the inning. Okay. That's good. Might as well pinch it for him because I really don't think he's going to be all that great. So, Asan Diaz, get in there, please. And that's a line out. Okay. Come on, boys. And that's a three run bomb from Trey Turner. Apparently, all their guys that don't have much pop got home runs today, which makes no sense. But come on, guys. Come back a little bit. Come on. Come on. And God dang it. Okay. Seth Lugo, what the heck are you doing, my guy? What is that? Then Aaron Bummer as well, just giving up some runs. My goodness, dude. Well, I thought my ace, Lucas Giolito, would do a lot better than that, but that's a six ERA for him. And we got completely smacked by the Nationals. All right. That's great, dude. The Braves go ahead and win the World Series. That's so annoying. All right, let's go ahead and re-up some of these contracts. And I definitely need some pop off the bench after what just happened there. So I'm not going to sign back Miguel Rojas, and I'm going to go ahead and get a guy with some pop, okay? Because I desperately need it. And actually, you know what? I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to try to bring back J.D. Martinez, okay? He was born in Florida. I want to see if he's going to try to play out like the last two, three seasons, possibly, in Miami. I feel like this could work out insanely good if I'm able to get him. Now, first off, the gigantic problem is, is that we don't have a DH, and this guy is got off left fielding. But if he brings that bat down to Miami, it might be game over. To be honest, it might be game freaking over. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do there. Hopefully it works out. We're also gonna go ahead and get Jose Abreu off the bench. And then I need a backup catch real quick. And you know what? I think we get Travis for a season. Let's go for it. There we go. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna try to get JD Martinez, Chad Green, Jose Abreu, and Travis. If we can get that, we're all set to go. We got Jada Martinez and I'm pretty sure we got Chad Green. And I'm pretty sure actually we got everybody that we wanted. Let's take a look. 
Did we? We still need Travis. Besides that, we got everybody that we wanted. That's perfect. I'll see you guys in 2023. 569 seconds later. All righty, here we go. Miami Marlins coming in for 2023, and they're looking stacked up right now. If JD Martinez can have a good season, we're ready to go, and I think we're going to win a lot of games. So wish me luck, boys. I'm going in. Let's get this thing started. And here we go. We're back. 20 games above 500 at the treaded line once again. What do you know? We're always here, pretty much. And the Phillies are ahead of us now. It's just a revolving door of people that get ahead of us for some reason. Right now, now, technically we have the best pitching in all of baseball so we're gonna be keeping that up our power is a little bit down at 14th i don't like that and our defense just absolutely sucks i might have to do like a gold glove rebuild or something just to see if defense is actually like a viable option but personally i just never really do good with defense and we do pretty solid so i never really get it i really just don't go out and get kevin kiermeyer type people or anything like that for the defense it's honestly just not my style of rebuilding but it works out for a lot of other people so whatever and if i'm being 100 percent honest there's really nothing that we need to fix right now the only thing i wouldn't mind getting is a better hitting catcher if you can even find that right now like really the only thing i could think of is gary sanchez but i mean Jorge alfaro for right now is a top five guy so i'm not really worried about it it's just like i need one super powerful guy off the bench along with jose abreu that's really a about it so if i could find that in the trade block real quick i am so down this one powerful guy come on please just one powerful dude yo ronald guzman possibly he's in triple a i might be able to get him if i could throw over like cory bird or something eh, we're actually pretty close hold up what if i throw over braxton garrett okay we're getting close and then brian why not there we go all righty he's gonna be very good off the bench for us and now we have that good lefty power bat but that's pretty much over the trade line i will see you guys at the end of the year and let's see what happens again i think we're gonna do fantastic i think we're gonna have above 100 wins i honestly believe that it's just us getting over that hump and winning the division that's really about it well we ended up winning the division but we just didn't get the 100 wins 95 and 67 again not bad that was our record last year i'm pretty sure i'm honestly 100 fine with it especially for the marlins but yeah this team looks incredible jd martinez just killing it too Oh my God. I'm legit ready for this postseason. And I swear to God, if we're getting screwed over again, I'm not going to be happy. Because I mean, just the combination of everything that we have, the offense, the pitching, the bullpen that we got, by the way, look at this thing. Like we're ready to go in Cincinnati. It's going to be a fun, fun NLDS. So here we go. So let's go ahead and get it started. Lucas Giolito versus Luis Castillo. Game one, took that W. Then we got Sandy going up against Tyler. Lost that one. Okay, that's unfortunate. Pablo going up against Trevor Bauer. Lost that one again. Okay. And then Caleb Smith going up against Sonny Gray. Won that one. Perfect. Lucas Giolito again going up against Luis though. And we won it. Perfect, baby. Come back. That's what I'm talking about. Taking on the Rockies right now in the NLCS. Here we go, dude. Lucas Giolito, I'm going to need you to find your footing, my guy, versus Noah Syndergaard. Game one. Yikes. He just can't find his footing. I thought this dude was like insanely good in the postseason. Game two, lost it by one. Sandy, again, can't find his footing either. Like both our good pitchers cannot find their freaking footing. Caleb Smith now versus Hermain. Come on. There we go. Won that one. Pablo versus Jeff Hoffman. Won that one. Perfect. Lucas Giolito going up for game five against Anthony Banda. Somehow lost that one too. My dude, you cannot find your footing at all. And then Sandy versus Noah Syndergaard. Won that one somehow. And then six overs, John Gray. Oh my God. The comeback. The comeback is real. Oh goodness. Okay. Taking on the Angels right now in the World Series. Oh my goodness. 2023, the Marlins made it to the World Series. What is this miracle? Lucas Giolito. Come on. Game one versus Jose Barrios. Somehow won that one. Game two, Caleb Smith versus Griffith Canning. Oh my God, 17 to three. You know why that is? We could use the DH. That was the big brain play I was going for. My dude VR with five RBIs. My dude Mankata with three. My dude Jada Martinez with three. Just disgusting around the board. Game three, come on. Sandy versus Andrew Heaney. Lost that one. Okay. Pablo versus Jose Barrios. Won that one. Oh my goodness. And then Lucas Giolito versus Griffin at home in Marlins Park. Oh my goodness. If we win this one, we win it all. Come on, boys. I believe. Lucas Giolito, though, I need you to have the game of your life, my dude. If he can have the game of his life, I'm so down for that. Come on. Here we go. Oh, my God. Just get out early. There we go. Jaden Martinez. That's what I needed. Come on. Keep it going, boys. Come on. Come on. Lucas. There we go. That's what I needed right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Just keep getting out of them innings. That's what I need. Okay. We're getting a little bit dicey. And yeah, there we go. God dang it, Lucas. All right, bottom of the fifth, Lucas already gave up two. I think we go to the bench real quick. I think I got to go for somebody that's going to get on base. And that's 100% going to be Harold. So come on. We got a guy in scoring position. Harold, hit him in, please. Okay, or at least he got on base. That's fine with me. There we go. And the runner got thrown out. Are you kidding me? Marcus, come on. Oh my God. Just such a wasted opportunity right there. That sucks. Chad Green, come on. There we go. That's why I needed. JD, okay. Yikes. Come on, there we go, tied up the game. Bottom of the seventh now. They got Craig Kimbrell coming in. Now, personally, I think we go ahead and give it to Jose Abreu real quick, okay? The guy's not really doing the greatest, but if I can get a home run from him, that is everything I ever wanted. 
and we got a pop out. Okay, Jonathan VR, strikeout in the Marcus Simeon. Yikes, okay. Not exactly what I wanted from that. Seth Lugo in there now. Did fantastic in the top of the eighth. JD Martinez, come on. Ground out, okay. Young Makata, strikeout, okay. JJ, okay, that's fine. I like that, that's a single. Still didn't get anything done though. Top of the ninth, we got through it. Okay, bottom nine now. 2-2, two -two, by the way. Come on. Diaz, I need you right here. Okay, Dickerson, I need you right here. That's a double, perfect. Now give me Chisholm, come on. Hit him in. Strike out, god dang it, boys. VR? God dang it, dude. Josh Hader, a fantastic top of the 10th. The meat of the order right now. If we can't score a run here, I don't know what's going on. Simeon, please. Walk, okay, JD, please. A double play. Yon Makata, come on. A single, that's fine. JJ, a single, come on, Jorge. He has a 390 average and he could not hit the boys in. Oh my goodness, come on. Josh Hader, get one more out, please. Thank you, okay. Diaz, you're back up again. He's 0 for 5. Okay, Dickerson, you're back up again. Okay, and then Josh Hader. I'm gonna leave him in there, why not? I mean, Josh Hader's kind of dialed in and he gives up a home run the first pitch he throws, okay. He still got through the top of the 12th, but I need my guys to just wake up or not, we lost. That is the most garbage way of losing right there. Oh my God. Our dudes fell asleep after the sixth inning. I can't believe that, come on. What are we doing here? We couldn't win it at home, which absolutely sucks for us, but I mean, at least if we win it somewhere else, that's still fine. As long as we win a freaking World Series, I'm A-OK, -okay, okay? I could care less about the location. Just get us this freaking W, please. Come on, come on. Counter Scott, fantastic. Come on, hit him in or not. We're wasting so many opportunities. That's a double from Jorge Alfaro. Please hit him in. Or not. That's another waste of opportunity. My dude Caleb Smith is having the game of his life right now, and thank God we get some more offense. Oh my goodness. Caleb, keep it going, my guy. You are doing fantastic. Base is juiced. Connor Scott, please. You got a 538 average. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of you. And he wasn't able to do anything, but still. I mean, that's a 538 in the postseason. I'm down. And Caleb, you just got one more inning to go. Three more outs and you'll be the hero of this entire team. Versus Mike Trout, that's a single. Okay, versus Victor, that's a fly out. Versus Anthony Rizzo, that's a single. Oh my God. Versus Joe Adele, that's a fielder's choice. And do we go in for this last out? He has no energy left. Oh my freaking God. Why is this so intense? Why is every single rebuild gotta be so intense? It can't be like a 4-0 sweep in the World Series. Like, come on. It's gotta be the most heart pumping, blood pressure off the charts type W. Like, oh my goodness. Here we go, Caleb Smith. You got absolutely no energy, my dude, but you just need one more out and you get solidified in Marlins history. Okay, come on. I believe. I freaking believe. That's a little early and oh my, I gave that one up. That's just me, to be honest. JD, get there. Try to get him when he's coming home. That's a perfect throw and he shuffled. Oh my God. Well, that was legit all my bad, but whatever. And they actually won. You cannot write this any better. Are you kidding me? Why do I have the worst luck in this game when I go in to watch my guys? I swear to God. It's becoming a meme at this point. Every single time I go in to watch my dudes win, they always lose. It's actually getting ridiculous. I'm pitching Sandy for game seven. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this team rock, okay? Cause they do a lot better without me. There we go, two runs scored, perfect. Come on boys, keep it going. That's what I'm talking about. There we go, six runs. That's what I'm saying. JJ Blade, fantastic. Keep him down, keep him down. That's two, okay. Do we take him out here? I mean, that's the second inning, my God. But I mean, my dude's giving up some runs. Yeah, he's giving up some runs. Okay, yeah, he's done. Chad Green. Call the bullpen, baby. That's a two-run bomb. They actually tied it up. Are you out of your mind? Well, now I gotta go ahead and give it to somebody else. Aaron Bummer, get in there. And another two-run bomb. Oh my God. Thank you, Jorge Alfaro. Thank you, VR. Keep this going, boys. Okay, keep it going. There we go. Diaz getting in on the action. I love to see it. There we go, VR with another bomb. I love to see it. Come on, Bummer, please. Thank you. Come on, boys. J.D. Martinez getting in on it. I love to see it. That's 15 runs. 16 runs now. Bottom of the ninth now. We're giving this over to my dude, Giovanni. Okay? Please. One out. Two outs. Three outs, baby. Oh, my goodness. Jonathan VR, by the way. Two home runs, four RBIs, and 16 total runs scored for Miami in Game 7 of the World Series. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Who the heck won the awards? Marcus Simeon getting gold glove. We got delivery man of the year going to Giovanni. We got playoff MVP going to Jorge Alfaro and then World Series MVP going to Jorge Alfaro. This is why I keep my man Jorge, okay? The dude is such a beast. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, leave the video a like. Subscribe down below if you guys have not subscribed already. Merch link is down in the description if you guys wanna get some merch and follow me on all my social medias. Alrighty, fantastic rebuild from this team. I loved it. And Marlins fans, this one was for you guys, okay? You guys have had a lot of well, problems over the past couple years, but we did this one for you. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Either way, see you guys later. Peace out.